Hi, this is Kerry King from Slayer, and you are checking out Loudwire. When I went and tried out for a band that I had no interest in, after I tried out for them, just wasn't a fit, you know, and Jeff was like the, uh, the attendant at the, at the desk that told you where to go. I guess it was a rehearsal kind of place, so there's kind of probably rehearsal rooms everywhere. And then when I came out, he was playing, and he's playing stuff that, you know, I was into, like Def Leppard's first record, ACDC, Priest, Sabbath, you know, you name it. And I said, you know, you want to get together and, you know, see where this goes? And we did. You know, he'd only been playing like a year when I met him. And I was probably playing like four, which is nothing in the, you know, big perspective of things, but he'd only been playing a year. And he learned a lot from me. Uh, and I fucking learned a lot from him. It was, it was a really, really cool, you know, we, we kind of, we didn't redefine the genre, but we helped establish the genre between us. I remember, I remember when, um, it was probably, I don't know, maybe a year before our record came out, Show No Mercy. I remember he'd gotten into hardcore punk, shaved his head. I'm like, what are you thinking? You know, because to me, it was, what did I know? I know the Judas Priest guitar players, you know, and he was K.K. Downing, I was Glenn Tipton, the brown hair, the blonde haired guy. You know, I know Iron Maiden, you know, I know metal and guitar. Guitar players have fucking long hair. You know, I, I didn't get the punk thing. I was, it was, I didn't get it for a while. <laughs> he shaved his head and, you know, he was, that's how hardcore he was into it and that's who Jeff was, just dive in fucking full force. Um, and he took that on stage, like in the, I, I got all kinds of old pictures, but, you know, just the, the rage and the joy coming out at the same time, just being on stage and playing what he loved, that was fun. I think the uniqueness to him would just be thinking outside the box. You know, I think we were both good at that. Because you kind of got to be to to establish yourself as a metal band, you know, in the wakes of Sabbath, Maiden, Priest, you know, so many others. But you got to you got to have originality. You got to think outside the box, and you got to present it differently. And he was really good at that, um, like the backward gallop in Raining Blood. Even though it had happened before, it hadn't happened like that. You know, when the double kicks come in, it just fucking it's like a wall just hits you in the face. But he, it, he was very good at, at creating things that sounded like they hadn't existed before. I knew he was in the hospital, I knew he was in bad shape, but nobody thought he was in that bad of shape because like nobody raced to get out there. And then, you know, he was gone. And I had rehearsal that day. I had the Golden Gods where people gave me shit for not fucking blubbering on mic, but you know, it's a celebration even in death. I wanted people to celebrate. And you know, they needed it. They needed somebody to say, it's okay, we're moving on. You know, and you, and you get to the Golden Gods. Nobody wants anybody to go to the Golden God and just be a fucking downer. You know, I dealt with what I had to dealt with. I think I got the crowd up for it. And I think that's a good memory of Jeff for them.